So today is the day, the release of Stephen Wilson's new album, The Future Bites. And we're going to be unboxing the Ultra Deluxe music product on Obsolete Media, limited edition of one. That's right, there is only one of these box sets. Now you can get the album on CD, Blu-ray audio, vinyl, cassette, Spotify. You can even get a deluxe edition a box set, uh, of which there were 5,000 made. But this box set is special, as there are only one of them. Uh, Stephen Wilson likened it to a piece of artwork, a painting, uh, to where everyone can enjoy it online through pictures, um, and you can get reproductions like posters or postcards, uh, but only one person can own the actual work of art. And that is what this is, because in addition to the album, there are a lot of unique items in here. Truly unique, and uh, we're going to go through all of them in this video. So when it arrived via FedEx International Priority, it came in this gigantic box, which was too big for my unboxing area, so I opened that up downstairs on the kitchen table. Laid on top of the box set was this uh, laptop bag. Um, this was featured in the Eminent Sleaze music video, so Stephen actually used this bag in the video, walked around with it, you can see it in multiple shots. And it was just one of the products that were featured in that video. Um, after the video was done, they had no more use for it, and so here it is. The back is blank except for this little logo that's stamped into the leather. And I checked, unfortunately there is nothing inside. Okay, so then we move on to the box set itself. You'll see from the cover artwork that this box set was 10,000 pounds. Uh, I live in the US, so the conversion rate was around $13,300 for it. And yes, that is a lot of money for a box set. It is the most money I have ever spent on any box set. But the money went to a good cause. Every penny of this box set was donated to the UK's Music Venue Trust. Um, and that's an organization that helps save indie live venues throughout the UK. Um, obviously we can't put on live shows at the moment and a lot of those places are really struggling. So this was $13,000 that went to them. And as a huge Stephen Wilson fan and an avid collector of music product on obsolete media myself, I had to have this. I mean, even my little indie band released an album on Blu-ray audio, so that tells you everything you need to know. All right, let's, let's dig in here. Oh, so, so each item got its own little box. I was not expecting that. I kind of just thought these things would be, oh, they even have little ribbons for each one. I kind of thought these things would just be, um, tossed in the box. <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting this kind of packaging. So this is Steven's Grammy nomination medallion. Uh, he was nominated in 2011, uh, the, for the first time for his second solo album, uh, for the surround sound mix as the mixer and producer. And so he gave up his actual Grammy medallion. This isn't a reproduction. This is what they send you when you are nominated. Um, and here we have some cover shoot Polaroids. Oh, quite a few in there. And again, these aren't reproductions. These are the actual Polaroids. Um, so when they did the cover art for this album, it's Steven's face, but superimposed on another model's face. Uh, so it's not just him. Uh, and I, this was, I guess, the photo shoot to, to create that artwork. It was more than I was expecting. Okay, and here we have some tour passes. Uh, I believe these are backstage passes uh, and VIP passes for a lot of previous tours. I really like some of the original artwork here. Like some of these are just, you know, this is the drive home single cover. Um, but some of these uh, look like they're unique to the passes. Maybe they were promo, promo images used uh, elsewhere. Very cool. Okay. So that's the top layer. Let's, uh, let's see what's on the next layer down. Oh, 
Okay, so first up we have the Eminent Sleaze test pressing. This is one of the 12 inch singles that was released um, with the B-sides, uh, the exclusive B-sides, Eyewitness and In Floral Green, uh, which is a Lonely Robot cover. Um, so it looks like no marking on the vinyl at all. Sometimes test pressings will have either handwriting or even um, manufacturer stamps and stuff on there. None of that, but it does look like there's a little ES um, initial, uh, initial up in the corner. And then the uh, 12 Things I Forgot test pressing, uh, which so far has been my favorite single from the album. Uh, that one had the uh, exclusive B-sides Move Like Fever and uh, the Tangerine Dream remix of King Ghost. So again, no markings on the vinyl, but we do have a 12 up in the corner. I'm not usually a vinyl collector unless uh, the vinyl contains exclusive songs that you can't find anywhere else. Um, that'll be the only time that I really buy any vinyl. Um, but these test pressings are pretty cool. All right, and this is the Future Bites test pressing, so the test pressing of the entire album. And same here, no markings, uh, but a TFB initial up there. And all the test pressings are on black vinyl. All right, and here we have the first of two exclusive audio items, which are the most important thing in the box to me. Um, one of them comes on a CDR. Uh, this is the Vienna Soundcheck um, from 2016. Looks like April 21st. Uh, and it looks to be a cover of Rush's Twilight Zone, which I believe is what a lot of the fans on the uh, Stephen Wilson Reddit uh, subreddit thought the um, live track soundtrack or soundcheck track was going to be. Um, the exclusive audio uh, item just means that this track will not be released anywhere else, uh, not digitally, not on any physical media. This is the only place it is inside this red folder. Okay, and in here, looks like we have some of the uh, printed materials from the Eminent Sleaze music video uh, to go along with the laptop case. So I'm just going to move this over here. We can go through these. Oh, I guess these are deluxe inspirational sentiments. So at first glance, I know some of these messages can seem a little odd and maybe even hostile, um, but the album's concept of hyper-consumerism uh, made it into the marketing materials and in the packaging uh, of the album as well. And I think it's something that we can acknowledge even if we participate in it. I have certainly spent way too much for limited edition singles, uh, imports, hard to find tracks, and Steven has contributed to that throughout his career with limited edition box sets and all of his mixing and remixing work for other bands. So if you are new to Steven's work here, I, uh, I could see how that might be a little confusing at first glance and out of context. Cool. There were a lot of those and they were all unique, which was nice. I uh, was expecting some duplicates. All right, and this is the big boy, the exclusive audio item. This is a seven inch of a song called The Taste Maker, uh, which is again, uh, only available in this box set. It is an original studio recording um, that was recorded during the sessions and uh, they made exactly one copy this will not be released anywhere else. It cannot be heard anywhere else uh, except in this box set. And uh, Stephen gave permission to whoever bought the box set, me, uh, <laughs> to release this song if they would like to the public or could keep it private just for themselves. Um, I am going to be releasing it to the public. I, I don't feel like this is something that should be hoarded. This is something that should be shared. So uh, in the coming days, I will make a very careful needle drop of the song and we'll be releasing it um, so the, everyone can enjoy it, all the Stephen Wilson fans can enjoy it. I know it won't be the same as having their own copies of the seven inch, but um, at least they will be able to hear, hear the song. Okay, and this is the uh, Grammy nomination certificate for the medal um, that we saw earlier. So the certificate was presented to Stephen Wilson for the surround, the surround mix engineer and surround producer. 
Uh, Grace for Drowning was the second uh, second solo album. That's very cool. All right, and then we have uh, this is an original drawing um, that was done of Stephen Wilson. Um, so again, not a reproduction, but the actual drawing itself. It looks like it's dated December 9th, 2009 to Stephen. That's gorgeous. I don't know how to say the artist's name, I apologize. Um, but there it is if you would like to uh, do some research and see what else that artist has done. And this was another big thing when I saw the box that was listed. Um, original working lyrics. These are handwritten lyrics uh, for a number of Stephen Wilson songs going back through his entire career. So Porcupine Tree, uh, some of the solo songs. Uh, and there were a few in here that I, would, I was very excited to get. Um, Dark Matter uh, was definitely one that I wanted to frame. I love this song. It'll be interesting to go back and listen to uh, the songs, the, both the studio versions and some of the demos that have been released and just see you know, how the lines had changed and uh, maybe even some of the meaning, how that had changed. Oh, and that's an earnings detail statement from Sony Music, so uh, maybe I shouldn't be showing you that one. Oh, The Raven That Refused to Sing. This is another one that I really wanted to frame. Such a gorgeous song, gorgeous music video too. It looks like the lyrics were either continued or additional song on the back. So cool to see the working materials. And here's Personal Shopper. Now this song's on the album. Uh, not all of them that we've shown has been on the album. Like I said, it stretched across his entire career. Um, but this, this one is on the album. It was the first single released. Ah, and here's Eminent Sleaze, uh, another single that was released from the album. Yeah, wonderful. Really happy to have these. Sorry, I'm going a little slow. I want to make sure I don't uh, bend any corners or tear, rip any pages. All right, and let's see what's under the next layer. Ah, so here is the limited edition deluxe box set. This is what's available in stores now. Um, like I said, there was 5,000 of these made. Um, so it was nice that they included the actual box set inside of this big deluxe one because I would have hate to have bought this and then oh wonderful so they are numbered to 5,000 this is number one so very cool well before we dig into this one I'm going to clean up the rest of this ultra deluxe box set to make sure that we don't damage anything or anything gets misplaced uh, so I'm going to clean that up and I'll be right back all right, so now we're gonna get into the limited edition deluxe box set. Um, again, this is the one that's available in retail stores, limited to 5,000 copies. Here is copy number one. Let's see what's inside. I've been staying away from other unboxing videos because uh, Steven said there's going to be some surprises in here for people who purchased it, and I didn't wanna get spoiled. So if you do not wanna get spoiled either, I would probably click away from the video right now. Congratulations, by opening this limited edition deluxe box set, you have succeeded in having its value. Uh, funny, because it's true with most releases, but I have found that Stephen Wilson's box sets tend to sell out right away and tend to go up in value whether they're opened or not. Um, but that's great. Okay, looks like we have some packet of materials here. Is it opened on? Oh, okay, opened like a record sleeve.
Can't forget our warranty card. Oh wow, there is a lot of text here. In multiple languages, no less. Well, we're not gonna read all that right now, but that's very cool. Okay, it looks like we have some uh, stickers, perceived value-added bonus stickers. Looks like we have some kind of uh, Future Bytes survey. Make sure you're satisfied with your purchase. These actually used to come in CDs back in the 90s, especially like CD singles. They would uh, get you to sign up for the band's uh, newsletter uh, or fan club through the mail um, and tell the record companies what kind of music you were interested in, what you wanted to buy, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, so this is a, a great callback uh, to the maxi single days and CD single days. <laughs> one of one box set purchaser, you, as it's being reflected. Um, but yes, as you'd open the box set, you would reflect yourself. Um, so that's that's great. I had seen a few people thinking that a mirror came in the uh, the box set. It was one of the guesses um, for the for some of the surprise materials. I'm a one of one. Okay, and this looks like a folded poster. Let's see if we can carefully open this. Living a. Normal life can be a pleasurable circus. It's hard to get this all into the shot, but there's also Stephen Wilson, The Future Bites, uh, written down here. Oh, and a second poster. Obedience is a weapon of mass destruction. Also with the logo down at the bottom. To die, one must ignore facts. Oh, that's not a poster, that is a book. That is a thick book. Okay, so there's your lyrics, and a lot of photos. And this appears to be one of the other surprise items hidden in here. This disc left intentionally blank. That is not true. I can clearly see that there is data on this disc, so we'll have to find out what that is. So I just listened, and uh, for those who don't want spoilers, skip this part, but uh, this disc is intentionally blank uh, for about 39 minutes and a few odd seconds. Um, and then there is about three minutes of soundscape noise, cool stuff, um, kind of sound effects. And then the rest of it is blank again after that. So if you were to put it into a CD player, yes, you'd probably think it was blank because it takes a very long time to get to any audio content, but there is audio content on here. And there's a lot of uh, reviews back here for the future bites and some of their items. A lot of the fake items that they created here, uh, they actually ended up selling some of them uh, in their web shop, which I thought was, uh, was a fun idea. And then we get to the actual content of the box set. Uh, we have the main album here, uh, instrumental versions of the main album, bonus content, which includes uh, other studio tracks that weren't on the album, uh, some demos and some remixes, I believe. Um, then we have the Blu-ray audio version of the entire album uh, in surround sound and high-res stereo, along with some music videos um, and usually some other content uh, that he puts on there. And then uh, the cassette here in the center, if I can get it out, which is also exclusive to this box. Um, contains a number of demos uh, from album tracks. So it looks like uh, Self, Anyone But Me, King Ghost, and Count of Unease. So I actually have a cassette deck set up in the living room uh, so that I can digitize this tape and keep those tracks along with the rest of the tracks from this box set. I usually end up ripping the Blu-ray audios and uh, keeping those in my library as well. It's just a little bit easier to listen to than having to drag out the box set every time and unpackage all of this to uh, to listen to the Blu-ray tracks. Okay, so we're just gonna check and make sure, nope, nothing under there. I know some bands in the 90s would uh, hide things behind the um, the CD tray in the, uh, the CD, so you had to pop that out sometimes to see if there was additional photographs or sometimes there'd be a little message back there. Uh, so I just wanted to check. So there it is, The Future Bites, Stephen Wilson's new album. Um, now that it's here and unboxed, I'm excited to dig in and listen to it all. I've heard the singles that everyone else has heard. I've enjoyed those. Um, so looking forward to hearing the rest of it. And uh, looking forward to sharing the exclusive tracks from the Ultra Deluxe with you guys sometime soon. Okay, thanks for watching and happy listening.